to my channel and today we are going to read message in a bottle so let's get started before this video please like and subscribe the channel and i hope you guys do that so let's get started in 2022 long time ago two children afia and hassan lived in a small fishing village by the sea in the south of pakistan they were good friends and lived next door to each other. Their fathers were both fishmen. Fishermen. There was no school in the village, so the children built sand castles, chased crabs, swam in the sea, and climbed coconut palms all day. All day long, they had a wonderful life without any worries. One day, they were playing on the beach. When they found a large green bottle, with great difficulty, the children took the cap of the bottle. Of the bottle inside it, they they found a piece of paper. What does it say? Cried Afia, excitedly, excitedly. I don't know, replied Hassan. There is some thing, some writing on it, but we can't, but we can't read because we can't read. Village could read. He would be able to tell him what it said. Then I started to go to him. I'm sorry, guys. There is some writing on but we can't read it. Read. The children wondered what to do. Old Babu, the shopkeeper in the village could read. He would be able to tell them what it said. They decided to go to him. They scrambled along, the, along to the shop with the bottle and the paper. Look, Babu, cried the children excitedly. Look what we have discovered on the reach. Old Babu took the paper from the children. He put on his glasses and started to read. If you get this, said Old Babu, reading from the paper, please write to me. I am David and I live in a small fishing village in New Zealand. Here is my address. Old Babu pointed to the address on the paper. Here is boy's address. Here is the boy's address. He said this body has came all, all the way from New Zealand. It is a country far, far away. Over the deep blue sea, you must try to David. He must be a small child, just like you. Tell him that you found his message. The children looked at her at her feet. They looked sad. Why are you looking so sad? asked old Babu. We cannot read or write, can we? replied Afia quietly. We are foolish. You are not foolish at all, said old Babu. Why don't you learn? There is no school here, said Hassan. How can we learn? Our teacher said old Babu with a smile. From that day, every afternoon, the sh when the shop was quiet, the children sat with old mom. He gave them a paper and pencils and taught them. Some months later, Hassan and wrote a letter to David in New Zealand. He wrote back to them. The months went by, the years and by. Afi and Hassan still write to David. Now they are nearly old as old mom was when was when he first read them the message in the bottle. Then he my story and I hope you will subscribe and let's see you tomorrow. Bye guys.